welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Minnie Santini and in this video, in honor of back to school, I'll be doing a what's in my backpack slash supplies I got for school haul. Disclaimer, this is my aesthetic and although I was inspired by everything that I bought from the pictures that I showed you guys, this is my aesthetic so it's a personalized version of that. I did get most of everything from Amazon. I didn't want to go in actual stores just because usually when I go in a store everything is already sold out and last year when I went to Target I didn't really find anything that was that aesthetic so I went on Amazon to like really look for the things that best fit the aesthetic that I was going for and then I actually did even go to Target for specific things that I'll talk about in this video just those things I couldn't find on Amazon that's why I went to Target and also for the notebooks I went to Target they also have them on Amazon I just wanted to see how 100 sheets and 170 sheets was like in person but I'll link everything everything will be in the description even the things in Target so you guys can see where I bought it and buy it for yourself I don't get keep so let's start so first off I don't have the backpack that I'll be using this school year just because I ordered it but it hasn't come in yet it's coming a little after school starts and I didn't want to make you guys wait in this video I'll be using the backpack that I used last year <laughs> Um, it's a really heavy backpack. This is the backpack. It has everything inside. That's why it's so heavy and it, you can see me struggling. But you'll see what's in it and you'll see that it's all necessary. I'm just going to put it on the side. Okay, so first off, let me show you everything that is in the major pocket. So this is like, you can see a lot of notebooks. I'm going to put it on the side just because it's a lot. I'll start with this binder. wanted to make a binder for the school year i always have to bring so many papers and they always get lost last year i got this plastic binder it was like two pockets and it was just like simple it wasn't even a binder it was a, a folder but everything got mixed up every single class got mixed up with each other and i couldn't find the papers that i was looking for because everything was together so this year i decided to get a binder that has eight tabs because i have eight classes although i'm not going to use every single tab for each class some classes i might use two for ap us history stuff like that just things that require like a lot of papers i have been looking at this image this is what i was took as as inspiration and then i kind of made this i really like it i think it's my personalized version of it it's blue instead of pink because I like blue a little bit more. I think it fits more with my aesthetic. I bought this whole binder from Amazon. The inside pouch, the clear one, I bought it from Target because I could not find any aesthetic pouches on Amazon. Even though this is like clear. The pens and the highlighters I also bought from Amazon, but they also have their own section. I decided to put these papers just in case if I need it. I probably won't use it that much, that's why I didn't put that many. I also haven't put any papers yet because I haven't gotten anything. I haven't started school yet. I really like how it turned out. It's really aesthetic. I think it's cute. I'll be very organized. Next, I'll start off with notebooks. Not all my notebooks are the same. They all fit the same aesthetic, but I got them from different places. I'll start off with this one. This is so cute. It's actually like adorable. I really, really love it. It's decomposed 100% post-consumer waste recycled pages. And I think this has 100 pages in it. It is not that thick, so I'm not gonna use it for a class that takes a lot of notes, but it's very cute and it's green and I love green and it goes good with blue. So it's just the colors in my aesthetic. So I really liked it. I actually bought it a while back and I decided to keep it. Like I decided to save it for this school year. Also, sorry if the light keeps coming in and out. It's the clouds from the sky. Next, I have these graph notebooks for math. So I really like these because they're clear in the front, which is similar to the binder. They are graph inside, like I said. This is specifically for math because I'm in Algebra 2 honors this year. I originally like for math having a big notebook, which I can keep everything in, but I didn't find this, like that has like a clear front and is like minimalistic in a big notebook it only came in this which is 100 sheets each so that's already like a lot it comes in a pack up too so i think this should last me all year and if it doesn't i'll just buy another one i decided that i would rather have two of aesthetic ones than one big one of not so aesthetic these are also very cute and very aesthetic notebooks okay so can you see it They're not as big as the other ones. Here is like the size comparison. They each come with 70 sheets, which is not that much, but 
since they're not that big i'm planning on using these for classes that i know won't take as many notes they're all super cute and i decided not to get different colors of the same type because i like to change it up since they all fit the same aesthetic they work together next up i got these two five star notebooks <laughs> For these, these are my bulk notebooks. This I got for AP American History and for Chemistry Advance because those are classes that I'm gonna take a lot of notes on and I need a lot of sheets. This is 150 sheets. I'll show you the thickness just so you guys can see like compared to my hand. This is gonna be for my AP US History. Some people use these for like, since it has two dividers, it can be divided into like three classes, but I don't like doing that. So I'll just use this all for AP US History. And then this one that has 170 sheets, this is my biggest notebook, is for chemistry. I'm gonna be taking a lot of notes in it and I know that it gives a lot of space. Next up is my planner. If you know me, you know that I love a planner. I love being organized and I love having a place where I can write everything down. And especially just helps me not have that sense that I'm forgetting something. If I write everything down, I can have a clear mind and not think about school that much. I really like it. It's the same like kind of aesthetic that it has like a clear front. I'm planning on leaving it like as simple as it is because I like the minimalist design of it. It is bigger than my planner last year. This is my planner last year compared to this one. If anything, it'll just give me more space to write because I did feel like I was running out of space on like the everyday thing, like my to-do list. And it's not that big compared to a notebook. Next up, I'll have this little notebook. I love this little notebook. It is the same brand as this one. I bought them together. I love this because I can just use this for little notes. And if I'm ever bored, like I can just do like drawing on it, you know, and I write for like a to-do list if i ever want to like write some like lyrics for a song just think about it jot it down recommend having a little notebook in which you can just jot everything down this is the computer case which it's like goes together with this really like this keeps my computer safe i don't have any scratches on my computer because of this because those notebooks with a the spiral they can really scratch a computer i like it because then my computer isn't like this my computer inside because then my computer isn't like packed and then the front pouch is where I keep my calculator. I used it for geometry last year and I also use it for algebra 2 this year. It's pink. <laughs> I love this calculator. Anyway, it's my pencil pouch. This is from last year. If you follow my Instagram, you have seen me post this a couple of times. I really love it. The color of it is just amazing. It has like a little stain on it, but that's on me. It didn't come like that. It has a pouch in the front even though i don't use that and then inside this is how it looks like this is the front here it also has like a pouch if you need you can also open it up and then it'll be bigger like fuller but if i open it i think that it takes too much space so i prefer not to and i prefer just to really organize what i'm gonna bring and what i'm not gonna bring just to not bring an excess of stuff which i'm probably not gonna use really like it i will continue using it this year i don't really need to buy another one if anything i'll just wash it now let me get into what's inside this and all the pens erasers pencils and everything else that i brought This pen, I love it. It is a really thin pen, which I really like. Honestly, if I'm being honest, my handwriting is so much better when it's thin. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's not as thick and it doesn't... You know, maybe it's because it's... I don't know, but it just... it, it This is better. I stand by this mechanical pencil. It is amazing. The color of it, so aesthetic. So perfect. My friend actually bought this and then I asked to borrow it and I fell in love with it. So I bought my own pack. It's lovely. The color, it's like lovely. This is a used one. I used it last year. You can refill it with lead. So I also bought lead. I also have this highlighter. I did not buy this pack of highlighter again. I have some left over, but they're not the best colors because the best colors I did overuse it. I keep this one just because whenever I do a to-do list on my planner, I don't cross it off. What I do is I do a, like a little green check on it. And this is the color that I use. This is what I use most. So that's why it's there. Pens, pencils 
and then a little check mark. In here is my highlighters. I'm gonna include some colored pens, but I didn't really buy a pack. I don't know, I have so many pens with me, like random, that I'll just choose like this blue pen. And I also don't use colored pens that much. I use mostly highlighters. So this pack is actually like really aesthetic. I found it on Amazon, it's just lovely. I haven't used it yet, but I will. On the other side is where I keep leads. It's 0.5, that's what it goes for this one. A little scissors for your everyday need. And then I also got these. Okay, so let's talk about these. This is what you're looking for if you want to annotate books. I actually found these on Instagram. I saw someone post it and they actually, in the caption, they said what the name of it was and they could find it on Amazon. So I looked at it on Amazon. I'll turn the picture right here because the picture is so aesthetic and it made me buy these. They're all so pretty. They have color on both sides. I keep these divided. I have some in my binder and I have some in my pencil pouch. And then I'll leave some at home in case I lose all of them. I'm really glad that I found these too. I was looking for these. So that's it for what's inside like this major pocket. Then in here, I have my wallet. This is from Urban Outfitters. I also have my keys. I have like a little deodorant. And I have my AirPods, which are right there. I also have my AirPods, which were supposed to be here, so. And last, but definitely not least, my water bottle. This is my favorite water bottle ever. I love it. It's 32 ounces. I bought this from Target. The straw, though, is not the one that it comes with. It's a separate pack from the same brand. I'll also include a link to it. comes in four. I do like this combination. Sometimes I switch this out for, like, the lighter blue straw. They all match. And I really like this because, one, it's aesthetic. I love this color blue. I don't know if you noticed. My nails are blue. Since I bought this, I've been drinking a lot more water, and I felt more hydrated, and I've looked a lot better. It's very insulated. It keeps, like, the temperature inside. It. It's nice. I'll ask you to picture my backpack now. It is coming soon. Hopefully. It's so cute, and once I get it, I'll definitely post it on Instagram, so make sure to follow my Instagram so you can see it. I'll include the link for it anyway, so you guys can buy it too, even though it's not here yet. Those are all my supplies for the school year. I hope you like them. It's bits and pieces of what I like, and they go together nicely, which I love, and I think I did a good job of. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely back to school, and I hope you have a lovely organized and aesthetic back to school. If you want anything, look in the descriptions, and I have all the links there. I don't get cape. If you want to see anything, any specific video for back to school, if you want to see a get ready with me, something for summer or something for school, make sure to comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!